It's roasted. So it is now the following Thursday and I have had a little bit of time to reflect on the race. I'm going to go through the race and talk about like my fastest splits, my slowest splits. They're all going to be in miles but it's easily converted into kilometres and we're just going to talk through it a little bit but still got my medal, still super proud. Yeah, let's get into it. So my overall finish time I found out was 1.44.09. I am super, super, super happy with that. I wanted one sub 1.45. And I got it and I'm just super happy with the run. At the time I was kind of like I wanted to run faster because I went in with the intention of trying to run 750 miles consistently through the whole thing which would be like a 142 and a half ish kind of time but it was so hot on race day like even just on the start line everyone was sweating it was really humid the sun wasn't out for the whole thing but it was just overall like even at what time did we get there like seven o'clock it was 18 degrees which is super super warm and it was just like humid and muggy and sweaty and yeah not ideal for race day but in the past i have been really bad like really bad with running in the heat and in the sun i have ended up in the medical tent on more than one occasion and we do not like that you should not be doing that i do not recommend um i've just like pushed myself too far just haven't taken on enough like water, electrolytes, fluids, everything. So I was very cautious and I did try to run a negative split, it didn't happen, but I was the most consistent I've ever been in a half. And I actually really enjoyed the race. I didn't realize if you actually run consistently and conservatively for the first half, that in the second half, although it's gonna to be tough, it is a half marathon, you're still running 13 miles, you enjoy the run. Like you can take in the atmosphere more. You can like, I gave some people high fives and like, you know, the people with the signs that's like, um, press here to power up now and stuff like that. Like I took part in the whole atmosphere. It was amazing. So I do recommend running conservatively. It has taken me, I think that was like my 12th half marathon or something like that. It's taken me 12 to realize that I need to run it that way. Um, and there's still progress to be made because it wasn't a negative split, but that is definitely the way to run them. And I will be doing that in future. So into the actual splits. Now I have some stuff written down here. I'm gonna put them on the screen either here or here, not sure yet. But my fastest mile split was 734 and that was my first mile. So that was just like to start with kind of thing. It was a very flat course. There was a little bit more uphill than last year because you had to run around like Swansea Uni, but overall pretty flat. The first, K, uh, first mile was very flat. So that was the fastest one. It was a little bit faster than I was hoping. I wanted, as I said, to do 750 miles. And I did pretty well at that. I did tell myself to slow down. I did slow down and then I was able to keep that for a little bit longer. But my slowest mile was 811. Now that's a, what is that? 37, 30 second, 37 second difference between my fastest and slowest mile, which I am super happy with. Some people will be like, whoa, that's way too much. When I did Swansea Half last year, there was a 50 second difference between my fastest and slowest kilometre. So that has improved massively. I didn't fall off a cliff like I usually do. I kept it pretty consistent. My average pace for the whole thing, I believe was 7.56 like per mile. So 8.11 isn't really that much slower. And yes, okay, 7.34 is a little bit faster, but you know, what can you do? A very interesting stat that I've only started recently like taking on board a lot more is heart rate. Now my heart rate used to just be sky high all the time. Every run I did absolutely sky high heart rate. But in my half, my average heart rate was 173 beats per minute, which for me is low. This time last year when I ran it, my average heart rate was I think 183 beats per minute. So obviously I didn't push myself hard enough or I'm just a bit fitter but what I'm getting from that is that I can run a lot faster especially if the conditions are like cooler and better ultimately so that was just a really positive thing I got afterwards if anyone else does any sort of like heart rate work trying to run in zones because I know some things give you like zones and like how hard you should work and what zone you should run in recovery and things like that let me know in the comments so as I said my average heart rate was 173 bpm but my Lowest heart rate, these are per mile, were 
165 for the first mile and then at the very end it went up to 184 and that was basically the sprint to the finish line so a little bit of a range but i'm pretty happy that it stayed like really it stayed at pretty much 171 to 174 for the like middle 10 to 12k so i'm super happy with that i think i stayed really consistent and my time didn't really fluctuate that much around then either so overall really really happy with it one other thing to know i know i did mention as well that i obviously took gels with me i took two gels with me i didn't have any it was so hot that every time i got to a water station which was pretty much every three miles i poured the water over myself then got absolutely like soaked with water and i don't know about anyone else but i i'm so bad at like ripping the top off the gels I knew it would take me longer to try and open a gel and like fiddle with it and everything than just keep running and like run conservatively and just keep it going and take on the water at the water stations. So hopefully when the conditions are better and I'm not having to pour water over myself and get myself all like covered in water, then I'll actually be able to have a gel. And I know Cardiff Half actually have like Lucozades or isotonic drinks, which is so much easier because you haven't got to rip the tops off or anything. So I'll actually be able to get some electrolytes on the way around. So Cardiff Half, I'm coming for you. So that's it for today's video. I hope you liked it. If uh, you like the sound of Swansea Half, please let me know. If you run it also, please let me know in the comments below. Drop me a comment. What do you think of the run? I know there's some very, very mixed reviews on whether people like the medals and if they like enjoyed not getting a t-shirt and their reasons behind not getting a t-shirt there's also very mixed opinions on the price of the race but you know it's all it's all part of the fun i guess but if you enjoyed the video make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you're liking this new content make sure also to give a big thumbs up if you haven't already then please subscribe to my channel if you enjoy this kind of content i am trying to make it more running based on my road to london journey also don't forget obviously i'm raising money for ten of us cancer care to run the london marathon next year the link will be in the description. I'm trying to run lots of different races in the lead up to London so that I can run London as quick as possible as well. I am thinking of putting a few things on YouTube, like giveaway kind of like raffly things. So if that sounds interesting to you, let me know in the comments. But any sort of donation that you're able to give, whether it's 50p, a pound, 10 pounds, 20 pounds, it's an amazing charity. They work with the most amazing people that really need support and honestly couldn't be i couldn't run for a better charity basically so if you'd like to donate anything i would appreciate it so much and i know 10 of us would as well the link is in the description below thank you for everyone's support so far and i look forward to seeing you again in my next video bye